G'day guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and welcome to the vlog. What's the vlog you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you right after this. Alright, so vlog is literally going to be my fish breeding log. I could have called it a breeding log, which would be a blog which is boring i could have called it a video log of breeding fish would have been like a little bit of blog not for me either but i thought vlog would work because fish for fish breeding vlog sure you work out that logic anyway as you can see behind me the royal whiptails have gone again so they went a couple weeks ago I uh, thought I'd leave them overnight and I'd get them in the morning and turns out in the morning they were all eaten so I'm going to pull them out today and going to try and raise uh, these whiptails. Um, so that's basically the start of, of vlog. I've always been more keen on sort of setting up display tanks and of recent times habitats and biotypes and stuff like that and sort of on off fish breed that breeds a bit awesome um, but I've never really put much time and energy into breeding too much and too heavily. Uh, I've done a little bit of African cichlids, uh, a little bit of plecos, corys, and then sort of guppies and platies and that kind of stuff, but nothing too drastic. Um, but there is actually a couple of little breeding projects that I want to play around with, so I thought why not document what I'm doing, and if I'm successful then I'll be able to have it all on video, and um, other people will be able to check it out, and if I'm unsuccessful I'll work out why and all that kind of stuff. So that is what we're doing with Flop. So I'm not certain if I have told the outside world yet or not, but I would like to breed Cardinal Tetris, and I would like to breed Cardinal Tetris because I want to do a display tank with Cardinal Tetris and the angelfish that I've got inside, and a couple other sort of South American cichlids. Man, my glasses are dirty. It's not really helping. Anyway, um, yeah, so I, I want to breed some Cardinal Tetris to put into a display tank. Our cardinal tetras aren't cheap, um, and I'm wanting to do a couple hundred or so, so I thought why not give it a go at breeding them. Problem is, I've never bred tetras before, and so I don't really think that starting on cardinals is going to be the best uh, approach. So, what have I done? I've gone and got myself a few of the easy to breed tetras, and I'm going to try and work my way up to breeding cardinals. So you all know that I've had the black neons for a while. Um, I'm going to begin conditioning these guys fairly soon, I believe and see if I can do some black neons as a bit of a starter. I have read that they are one of the easier textures to breed and a good starting point, so they are definitely on the list to to try to start with. And for some reason I don't reckon you'll be able to see these, but oh, out the back there, I've also gone and bought myself some glow light tetras and some lemon tetras. They're not really a focus, going to stay at the back. Um, again, for the same reason, I've heard that they are fairly easy to breed. I really like lemon tetra, I think they're super sweet. Um, and I think glow lights are also pretty cool and underrated. So I decided I'll start with the glow lights, um, move towards the black neons, and then have a go with the lemons. Um, I'd like to find some Prostellas, and if I can get them, I'll do them first, or attempt to do them first before I move on to the Cardinals, and I'm sorry that this is just a really poor video, so I'm sorry this 45 seconds is going to kind of suck. And then when I'm comfortable in what I'm doing, I've got these Cardinals here that I've already bought, I'm going to have these growing out, and I'm going to give them a go to get what I really want. So this is the end plan, is to get the Cardinals spawning and to get a really, really nice group of them in between. Uh, but yeah, hopefully if I can get some Prostellas, they'll be the first. And as soon as the um, uh, Lemon Tetras and Glow Lights are out of sort of quarantining, I'll begin playing around with them. And um, then I'll move on to the Black Neons and hopefully I go okay with the Cardinal Tetras. So that is the first plan uh, for Flog and I will document them all all the way through. But we'll try one at a time, unlock them, be happy and confident to say that I can spawn them every time or when I'm trying to spawn them and then go from there. There we go. So yep, that was the first edition of Flog. Basically just telling you what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to have a go on these little royal whiptails now that they've already spawned for me, so if I can get them going. And then once these other tetras are a little bit bigger, that is the plan to work onto the cardinals. So um, 
please look forward to more of these vlog videos. Um, I'm kind of apprehensive because I'm letting the whole outside world know what I'm trying to do. And if I fail miserably, well, that's going to be miserable. But if I succeed, that's going to be awesome. And um, hey, it's all learning. It's all part of the hobby. So fingers crossed we go okay and learn some things between us on the way through. If you have spawned any of these fish before and successfully raised them, please feel free to uh, let me know in the comments and tell me what you found successful for them and what worked really well and what didn't. It might save me a little bit of effort and it'll help other people that are watching as well. Alright guys, that's me. Have a good one. Happy fish, Kevin, and catch you later.